we are still going to practice some measurement. I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's assignment of measuring things in nature. Today, I'm going to teach you guys a game called Measurement Tag. So you need to have a partner to play with and preferably someone who can measure really well. So probably an older sibling or a mom or a dad. And it probably won't work as well with like a toddler sibling. So you can use a dice or even two. Um, and if you don't have one available, maybe um, have your parents see if they can do an app. There are some apps out there that do random number generation. So that way you can you can kind of flip and, and do a dice. The other thing is you could make your own. Um, by making a cube out of paper and writing the numbers on it. So that might be another way to solve that problem. So how you do um, measurement tag is that you each need a different color of um, pen, marker, whatever. I'm going to use Expos. And you have to start on separate sides of the paper. So I am going to do that right now. I've got the blue and the um, brown, ooh, ooh, brown over here, blue down here. So then whoever goes first, let's just say it's me, I'm going to roll and I get a one. So we're practicing measuring with um, inches. So I'm going to do that. So because I'm a one and I went first, I'm going to be it. So I have to use my ruler or the one I printed for you guys, you can use that as well, to measure one inch from my, my dot. And I'm trying to get the blue dot. So I'm going to go towards the blue dot. So I'm going to do my one zoop like that, my one inch towards um, the blue dot. So then it's the blue dot's turn, and they are going to roll, oh my goodness, they got six. So the thing is, they are just trying to get away from me. So they're going to take theirs, and they can use the same ruler, but go somewhere so they can kind of get out of the way. So they're not going to come right towards me. They're probably going to go at an angle and try and kind of get away. So they were able to do six whole inches and they're kind of trying to get away from me. So then let's just say I'm going to kind of go quickly just to uh, show you guys and then you can of course play however you'd like. Let's just say the brown one, the it person, got three. So they get to do a three inch line towards where the blue is and the blue is like ah gotta get out of the way so they maybe roll a two and they need to get away from where brown is so maybe they're going to kind of zigzag and go backward two inches and of course they'll actually measure this okay so the point is one person is it and they're trying to catch the other person so you can play however you want. I was thinking it would be fun to play on paper and then you can save it. You can play on a whiteboard. I don't know if you guys know this, but Expo markers work on windows and mirrors and can be easily erased from there. Another fun idea might be to use chalk on a sidewalk or to just draw in sand if you don't have chalk and play that way. You could play big and do feet. You could measure with feet. You could, um, even try to, if you are making your own dice, you could do half inches if you are ready to practice that. So there are lots of ways to vary this and change it and make it a challenge for you or make it easier for you if you need to. But the idea is to have one person it and they get to draw lines to try and catch the other person. Meanwhile, that other person is trying to draw lines to get away from the person who is it. Please let me know if you have any questions, but this is really good practice. So however you make it work for you guys, that is great. And just try to have fun and good luck.